Timothy trespass. And I'm a human being who has found himself targeted, inoculated with Morgellons, nanotechnology, genetically modified insects living all over me and in my stuff that are unkillable. Microwave, directed energy attacks, gang stalking, poisoning, electrocution, you name it. The only thing they didn't do was pull my arms and legs off, you know? Anything they could do without touching me, they did. Threw food all over me, chased me around, drugged me with LSD for years. Anyway, <clears throat> what I wanted to say was this woman on the corner, this woman preaching the, the gospel or whatever she was saying, I don't even know because I don't speak the language. However, all I have to do is hear this stuff, be anywhere near somebody that is outpouring this Holy Spirit, and I burst into tears. I cannot help it. I don't even know what she's saying, but it speaks to me in some... Anyway, it's very confusing. You know, I run into all these church people in my life uh, as a poor, broke, broken person uh, for food and occasional help. And most of them are good people, or they want to be good people. Some of them really are good people, and others of them only think they're good people. And, you know, it's so easy for our lives, for our day-to-day -day bullshit, excuse my language, to get in the way of who we want to be, what we want to act, you know, how we want to act and, and what we want to achieve, what we want to represent ourselves as, all these things, all these things, uh, oh my God. poor guy, man, I'm slaving away, carrying heavy shit out of a broken building, I see this every day, these, these poor uh, Mexican and South American people, probably without papers, for a few dollars an hour and they make them do the worst heavy manual labor like God, this world is so messed up you know, I got nothing against working I worked as much and as long as I could you know despite the, the people destroying everything years of inability sudden inability to accomplish anything all of a sudden, for seven years it took me to finally just say, fuck it, I don't care. Of trying and trying and trying and trying and reaching out and going, coming up with business plans and all kinds of stuff. And anyway, regardless, you know, I, I was so dumbfounded that I couldn't figure it out. And what, did somebody put a curse on me? That's the only thing I could think of. Why would, would everything suddenly turn to shit? You know, everything I used to touch was golden, and now it's garbage, you know? What happened? Well, a lot of things happened. Um, anyway, I'm digressing, getting off the subject, which I always do because I find it difficult to maintain focus on any one thing. I forget what I'm saying, what I'm thinking, what I'm doing. Alzheimer's like symptoms, left parietal and left occipital lobes. And that's only the stuff that's actually died and shrunk and is obviously broken. You know, uh, there's a part of me that, that wishes I never got a brain MRI because before then I thought of myself as quote unquote normal. And I got the brain MRI and it showed me that uh, you have some serious problems with your brain, son. Uh, you know, not so serious that you can't walk around and talk and, you know, everything, but uh, 
uh, I'm not so serious that you didn't test 97 percentile in the IQ test. But uh, that was years ago. Honestly, I, I believe that... See, I was born with the umbilical cord tied in a knot, I was told. My mother had uh, toxemia or something. Her body rejected me. She got very sick, almost died. Uh, the doctors all made this face like, I don't know what the face was, but she said through her haze of drugs and sickness, what? What is it? What's the matter? Oh, nothing. Don't worry. About it. Everything's okay. Supposedly, they were spanking me or whatever, and had they not gotten me to breathe, at that moment it would have been, you know, stillbirth. And uh, perhaps the doctors at that point decided, hey, here we got one that we can try this new secret uh, treatment on or whatever. You know, who knows, man. Maybe they were just happy to pull one out alive. And then I went to foster care for four months. I have no idea what happened there. Don't remember any of it. Don't remember being born, but I have a visual impression of what it would be like. My mother in the hospital delivery bed and the whole, the, just, you know, I, I could see it all in my mind. Now, whether that's what it actually looked like, I don't know. Um, then I was given 16 vaccinations as a child. I have the list somewhere, I'll look it up and let you know. Which made me very, very sick for the remainder of my childhood. With horrible earaches, uh, headaches that have not gone away till, till still. I still suffer horrible headaches, uh, eye pain, um, canker sores in my mouth, um, sick, you know, vomiting, fevers hallucinations uh, and of course none of the doctors knew what oh, nothing wrong with this bouncing baby boy I don't know maybe he needs glasses maybe blah, 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 blah. a lifetime of incompetent medical treatment nobody has ever gotten to the root of the problem ever so then you go to psychiatrists and they say well you must be crazy I don't know they don't use those words but they pull some DSM diagnosis out of their thing to explain your behavior and categorize it and pump you full of some kind of drugs, which really don't do anything to help the problem. It doesn't solve the problem, doesn't get to the root of the problem, just medicates it. And um, here I am still with little tiny black things in every cell of my body, in my blood, my urine. I haven't looked at the stool yet. Um, earwax, scabs, spit, pus, ejaculate, uh, mucus, uh, what else is there? Hair. There's one thing left to test. And, um, wow, that's weird. I just had like a... I know these are like micro strokes or something when everything goes whoosh and blurry and you know your head goes whoosh and the world opens up and this giant I can't even explain it it's some kind of not good thing for the brain anyway thanks for listening to me blather God bless you all